Hello guys, me Carson is a Cap Carnival, and welcome to F1 2023 gameplay. So, huh, as Connor Sport Racing is going through some kind of controversy mm -hmm. with the driver lineup, Casper Ackerman is like the team principal, and for what <coughs> they're scouting, they found a gem. And some talent in Callie Meyer. So she was the F2 champion. So she got elevated up to the Formula One series and is going to sign a deal with Condor Sport Racing. So congrats to her and hope she, she does well. And, and I control her car at times in these reality scenarios of breaking point you're gonna see her talent show and realize she'll get to the and she knows her racecraft and her driving IQ so who knows maybe she'll uh, get a good toe behind somebody and just pass them right to, right and left so so here it is, British Grand Prix, her first start for Connor Sport Racing. So. And, and it says overtake Aiden Jackson, who sounds like she, he's arrogant and is uh, really disappointed that Ky, Kylie, <laughs> Kylie Meyer is joining the team. And, and if you're an NASCAR fan, you realize a lot of males despise females. Kinda like Danica Patrick and Ailey D and for these days, so so I don't wanna put Kelly Meyer on the spot that she is like a Ailey D or nor Danica Patrick in her discipline, but it is what it is and it's more likely females won't do well in a really male dominated mm -hmm. sport. But hey, there's actually a Formula One feeder series that cured tails to females. So, yeah, I've seen it on YouTube, but they, they never get recommended to my YouTube channel again. So, I mean, it's just. It's more like females in NASCAR don't exist. And there's like African Americans from Bubba Wallace, Mexicans like Danny Suarez, Asians like Kyle Larson, and so forth. So I don't want to go there, but you know the diversity in this sport right now in auto racing. It's just, hey, just be yourself. No matter how different you are, everybody will give you the same respect. The way they respect you on the track and off the track. So, so that's it with my uh, analysis of Kelly Meyer and being the first female Formula One driver. But in reality, she's not. But hey, it is a fiction story. So, so we'll make a kind of it. Hope you have a good Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. So, peace out. Okay, gap to the car behind, car behind, 1.8 seconds.
right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Just another example of the color sport drive. Welcome then to the podium. Callie, this is your. Yeah, I mean, just to see the number of fans cheering for me really spurred me on today. And I used to come here as a little girl to watch the races, so it really means everything. It's a dream come true, to be honest. <laughs> Well, I have to say, it was tight out there once again between you. <laughs> Look, Aiden's got to drive as he sees fit, and he feels the need to put his performance first, and that's his call. It's not like it's the first time we've seen a driver prioritise themselves ahead of the team, is it? <laughs> now, naturally, there has been a lot of speculation about... OK, I'm not taking any more questions about my father. Ask him about his involvement. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. I know, I know. I ended the interview. I need to be more patient. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> you need to win the press over, my darling, not make an enemy of them. Yeah, yeah. Natalie Pinkham, Callie, of all people. I just get annoyed when people ask me about Dad, that's all. I know, but she's only doing her job, poor woman. I'm sure she understands that sometimes people don't like the questions. She's on your side. You do know that. This isn't about Natalie Pinkham, Mum. Well, it is and it isn't. Look, I will be nicer to her in the future. Happy now? I just hope you are. Great race today, darling. Thanks, Mum. I've got stuff to do, OK? Not at all. <laughs> Why not? I thought he was immature about what happened in Baku. I, like, I never really got over it. He was aggressive on track, and the paddock talks. He just wasn't happy at Connorsport. 
thought he was too good for the team. He just... got questions but we think we know what we're doing here we've got information that says more rain's coming and so because we're the first ones to come and make this change we can turn it into an advantage so on your outlap let's make it all count copy that Aiden's in the pits Aiden in the pits And gap to the car in front is 7.8 seconds. So we're looking at another five, maybe 10 minutes of this rain. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps.
Congratulations, Cully. You keep going like that, you might just prove me wrong yet. Cully? Well, we said at the time that it might have been too soon, but in hindsight, Connor Sport really did make the right call. They have made the pit stop. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted. Callie, great race. What do you mean, prove you're wrong? I was just trying to congratulate you, that's all. Casper. Hey, look, I've uh, put measures in place to clamp down on who can access Team Radio from now on. Thanks, I guess. Turns out your father talked Mark into it. Said something like, you're not going to keep me off Team Radio on my own team. <laughs> yeah, well, Mark can be a bit of a pushover at times. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so... Give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day and peace out.